Hey everybody, Demi here again. This video is going to be focusing on fixing HDR light maps in Source Filmmaker. So, we're on some random obscure trade map, and as you can see, it is in full bright. It is horrible to look at, and it's just not going to get anything done if you want to use this for any projects. The reason for this is because it is missing what's called an HDR light map, which is how Source Filmmaker processes lights to make everything shaded. So without it, it just doesn't know how to handle the lights, and it just... Wah. <laughs> so we're going to be fixing this map actually outside of Source Filmmaker, so you can just feel free to go and quit out. So, we're going to go and find our map. It um For me, it's going to be in our trade snowy... Right around here. Alright, so you just copy your map over, and you're going to need a few programs for this. So first off, you want to install Team Fortress 2. Second, you're also going to want two programs, Packrat and BSB Source Decompiler. Um, so BSB Source and Packrat are both Java files, so you're also going to need to download Java for those. So what you want to do is all these folders here, like the BSB Source Decompiler and Packrat folders, these are all just things I set up in, uh, beforehand because it's easy for me to navigate. You can save these wherever you want, it doesn't actually matter. So for me, I'm just going to go and stick these right about here. So what you want to do is open up BSD Source, which is a map decompiler. So what we're going to do is add our map. In this case, it's going to be over here, create snowy. Just open that up. And we also want to go over to the other tab and click Extract Embedded Files. So what this is going to do is certain maps like Badwater Snowy have custom models and materials. For example, Badwater Snowy has a custom present gift wrapped cart. So by using this command, you can actually take those custom models and materials out so you can put them in your user mod folder or whatever. So we're going to decompile this. I'm going to put it under decompiled and we're just going to save this. So it should be done really fast. So you can just quit out of BSB source and go over to your decompiled folder and there you go. You get this VMF file. What a VMF file is, is a file format used for the hammer editor, which is how people make maps. This other folder over here is all of the custom materials. So we're going to go over it and load up hammer. So you want to go over to Team Fortress 2 bin, and we can just load up hammer right here. So what you want to do is just open up your file. We're going to go over to tradesnode underscore dvmf. And here's our map. This is the hammer editor, and it it honestly terrifies me. I can't do anything with this. However, you can go to map, entity report, and you can look for what's called light environment. So this, as the name implies, is what controls the environmental light, the map lights. So if you click this, you can actually change the map lighting itself, the brightness, the color. Like if you want to make it nighttime, you can change this to a darker blue. You can do lots of stuff there. But what we want to do is just get HDR working, so we just want to run the map, or press F9, and this dialog box is going to come up. So you can uh, take run viz and set that to fast, it, as far as I know it doesn't actually matter. You want to make sure HDR is ticked, because that's what we're looking for, right? Then we just want to press OK. It's going to take a little bit, depending on your map, so I'm actually going to cut the recording here and come back when it's all done. Alrighty, so Hammer's just finished putting the map together, and it should save under where you had your VMF file. In this case, it's going to be this underscore D dot VSP. So what we want to do is hold on to that, because remember those materials we, export we took out of the map before? We're actually going to be using Packrat to put them back in, that way people who use Source Filmmaker don't have to download the map and additional materials. It's just going to be a all-in-one package. We're going to open the Packrat, and we're going to navigate to our folder. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to find our underscore d dot bsd. So we do this, and this window is going to pop up. What we just want to do is press add. We're going to go over to decompiled and find that folder with the name. Open that and press yes to all. Now that we do that, we want to save this. We're going to just save this as trade snowy v3 say ffm dot bsd. So we save this, and we can just quit out of pack right. Go back to your folder, and let's take a look. So we, we take our new SFM map, we copy that, we can go back to Source Filmmaker, and I'm just going to stick this in user mod maps. Alright, so now that's down there, we're going to launch up Source Filmmaker again. 
open up our level and let's just make sure this works. We're gonna open up our level. The reason it's still missing HDR is actually just because we're still using the old map. So we can just go in and load a new one. And once we load that up, it should be fixed. And there we go, HDR is now added to the map and everything is lit as it should be. You can just explore the map and see that all the lighting is indeed fixed. And yeah. Hopefully this tutorial will help you guys out. This will work for pretty much any map. So, hopefully this helps you out and remember I'll be posting more tutorials in the future. See you guys later.